Facebookwinner.com. And uh, I'm out here on the LBJ National Grassland. It's December 4th. And uh, what a great season. This has been like a dream season for me. I've shot a great buck. I've taken a couple does. One of them here on public land. Out of this stand I'm sitting in. Unfortunately, uh, on Veterans Day, I wounded a buck. I think I shot a little brisket and grazed him. I'm sure he's still alive, but we found just a little bit of blood. I brought some dogs out and looked for hours and couldn't find him. So I think that he's still alive unless another hunter has got him. It's 37 degrees. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, since Thanksgiving, I'm not getting very many pictures. I think that the I think that the public land pressure from the gun hunters has finally gotten to my spot, even though it's a mile back from the closest access point. It's, I guess it's not far enough right now. It's been unseasonably warm, so there's been a ton of ton of hunters out. This is one of the few cold snaps that we've had come through, and man, it feels beautiful this morning. I want to throw a little product. Uh, you know, I want to do a little uh, Oh, a little uh, techie type of, of review on gadgets and you know just cool hunting stuff that I got uh, but one of the one of the pieces of gear that I have that I just got this is my first season using is this first light first lights merino wool products base layers uh, outer layers they've got a whole system to keep you warm and that's typically not an issue in Texas but I tell you what, I froze last year, and I told myself I'm not going to do that again. And and when I get to the point where I'm not freezing, I've got so much bulk on that I just absolutely can't hunt almost. You know, when it's 20 degrees and you're sitting in a stand as opposed to being active, you've got to have some warm clothing. And and when you're a bow hunter like me, and that's all you do, you, you don't want it to be bulky. Sorry, I'm watching for deer. This is prime time, and I'm doing an interview. So, <clears throat> so anyway, uh, I got in touch with First Light, and um, they're they're known around a little bit. I think they're uh, probably the best merino wool clothing on the market uh, right now. There's a f few others that are going towards merino. It seems like the industry is going that way. Sitka came out with some merino wool. Uh, Qu which uh, was founded by the guy who started Sitka. Uh, they were, they're all putting out merino wool, so there's something to merino wool, but anyway, I'm sitting here, and I don't know if I can show you or not. Let me look. I guess I, guess I got you a little bit too close. Let me swing you around. <clears throat> all I got on, all I got on is a merino base layer. This merino, uh, the second layer called the Chama hoodie and and a Sitka vest and I am freaking toasty warm I mean I am toasty warm it's 37 degrees out now there's no wind if there was some wind I might have some issues because there's no wind stopper in in, mer in this merino wool but I'm telling you sitting right now with about a five mile an hour breeze just a light breeze I am freaking toasty warm now I got my hood up one of their wool I got one of their little wool caps on uh, and on my on my bottom I've got their boxers merino wool boxers and a pair of their expedition weight base layer merino wool and then just a, th a thin pair of Sika pants the ascent pants they're super thin and I'm telling you dude I am I am so warm so I'll go over this first light stuff a little bit more later but it's absolutely worth its weight in gold it's a little expensive but it'll last a long time if you take care of it and uh god it's it's light i'm warm i can draw i mean it's just freaking perfect so anyway I'll, when i get down from the hunt later i'll uh when i get down from the hunt later i'll uh, see if i can do a better review for you Hey guys, it's uh, Leftridge, TexasBowHunter.com, and I didn't get a chance to kind of finish up my review of my first light stuff. 
I have never been more excited about hunting in the cold than I am this year. And the reason is because I'm freaking staying warm. It makes such a huge difference. I mean, I'll hunt when it's cold and, uh, and I'll suffer through it, but that's what it has been for me over the last four years of, of bow hunting. It's been, you know, hitting the real cold weather and it's been suffering through. You know, I might stay warm in my upper body, but my toes are freezing or my hands are freezing. I just I hadn't figured out how to put it all together. So when I ran across First Light this year, who makes this great merino wool clothing for hunting, uh, I jumped on the chance. Obviously, everybody knows merino wool is super warm and, and uh, is, is the way to go, but I didn't really know until I experienced it just how great this stuff is. And uh, First Light is really, uh, they're one of the best uh, companies in regards to their quality and their production and and the and their wool itself um, you really don't get much better than that as I as I mentioned before from the tree a lot of companies are moving to merino wool you just can't beat it for warmth to weight ratio uh, Sitka gear has some merino and I have a lot of Sitka gear and I love it uh, but they only offer a few limited pieces of merino um, I'm sure they'll have more in the future, but this first light stuff, it's fabulous. And so I thought I'd talk about, you know, what I'm doing to layer. I lived in Colorado for a long time and I never learned about layering really. Uh, but this year I think I've got it figured out. I've sat in the tree long enough now to, to really understand the benefits of it. I've sat through, I've sat through uh, some hunts so far this year. In fact, right now it's about, uh, I don't know, about the same as it was the other morning, about 37, and uh, I only got one layer of uh, merino on them. I'm, I'm freaking warm. So anyway, the base layering starts with uh, a moisture wicking layer. You need something to suck that moisture away from you. Anytime you get wet, uh, you're gonna get cold. So maintaining your skin dry, uh, whether it be your pits or your arms or your legs or your crotch or whatever, uh, you need something to wick that moisture away. So what I'm doing this year, and it's, man, it's working amazing. I start out with a first light base layer. It's merino wool base layer. The great thing about merino wool is that it's moisture wicking uh, and it will hold its weight many times over in moisture, but it's also uh, odor resistant. So, you know, a guy can use it days and days in a row if you're out at your lease or your farm or wherever you're hunting and you can't wash clothes out there the same as my place I don't really have electricity uh, except for a generator I don't have any way to wash my clothes I can wear these base layers over a weekend or over a week and not ever worry about the smell it's just a non-issue um, with merino which is fabulous so the next layer after your your moisture wicking you're wanting to go to a to a, an insulation layer you're wanting something to hold the warmth in um, the only drawback for merino, this particular merino wool, it doesn't have wind stopper. So when you start getting into your, to your other layers, um, these base layers and, and mid layers aren't, they're not wind stop and wind will suck that heat right out. Um, so keep that in mind when you're talking about base layer and, and you're talking about this mid layer, uh, it, it's not really uh, designed for wind stop. So there's other products that address that. So from there, from my base layer, I cruise to this uh, uh, Chama hoodie. It's called a Chama hoodie. Uh, by the way, this base layer is a Yano. Uh, that's their that's their line, and they make it um, in a in an upper and a and a lower, so you can get both of those for your base layer. Now I go to this Chama hoodie. Chama hoodie is it's a heavier weight wool. It's more wool, I suppose, is how they do it. Uh, it's designed for an insulation layer, and I had my base layer on I had this Chama hoodie on as you saw in the when I was in the tree the other day and uh, and a Sitka vest and it was 37 degrees and I was in great shape man I was super warm and and the nice thing is is this stuff is it's not really heavy but it's it's thin enough I'm not bulked up at all I mean I'm not bulked up at all and I can sit in 37 degree weather 35 degree weather and be in just great shape uh, for bow hunting uh, the Chama hoodie's got a few things. It's got a nice little hood, which is super warm. You can zip that bad boy up. 
and uh, and I put it up like this the other morning when I got a little wind blowing just keep my ears warm my face warm offer some concealment I don't mind wearing black in a tree I don't want solid black but a little bit of black in the tree no problem with the deer um, actually works out pretty good <clears throat> And uh, a few few other little things about this Chama hoodie is uh, is the thumb loops. You can man it just uh, it's amazing what a difference that makes in keeping your hands warm. Just having that you know halfway up your hand. It's soft. This merino wool is extremely soft. It's super comfy to wear. And so what I was wearing the other morning is I threw that vest on. So for my bottoms the other morning, um, bottoms make a difference too. I threw down with some uh, merino wool boxers, which First Light makes. Super great quality boxers. Uh, it's it's a little thinner than the t-shirt merino wool, but it's just a base layer. It's just a, trying to wick that stuff away. Um, the next thing that I went to, which I, I didn't need to do the other day, but I, I typically would, <clears throat> I throw down uh, with, the, with the base layer of, uh, of merino wool. So I got the boxers on, this wicked moisture as well as, uh, as providing some insulation. My next insulation layer is the, uh, I don't even remember. I don't even remember what the hell the name of these are to be honest with you. Uh, it's an expedition weight. It, I don't think it's the Yano. It, uh, I'm just drawing a blank on the name guys. But basically, I, I need that that uh, moisture wicking layer and then the insulation layer. This is the expedition weight, so it's a little bit thicker. It's more like the Chama hoodie than the Yano as far as its weight. It's a little heavier, but it's it's my mid-weight layer. It's, it's that insulation layer that you need to stay warm. Uh, and from there, I, I just threw on my Sika vest. You know, this is about first light. Sick is the good stuff too. But I threw on my Sika vest and 37 degrees with with very little bit of wind. Man, I was toasty warm. Oh, the other thing I threw on was their little brimmed beanie. Um, it's also merino wool from first light. This stuff is, is uh, fabulous. Keeps your head warm. It's got some little ear flaps, just a little bit. You can roll them up or not. It gives you a little bit of a visor for the sun. I actually wore it underneath my cap. And then uh, when I throw up the hoodie, so I got, a, I got a layer on the bottom. So I got my base layer of my, I can't get this damn thing to go on right. There we go, guys. Uh, so basically I got a base layer of uh, that that beanie, uh, the brimmed beanie. They make just a regular beanie as well and they make a few other uh, balaclavas that are full face, which I'd like to get my hands on at some point in time. I just, I didn't do it yet. Uh, my cap, really just because I like wearing a cap. And then I threw this up and uh, I was super warm. A few other things uh, that I wanna that I think about are uh, merino wool socks. These are socks from First Light. Typically, you want the same thing on your feet. You want to you want to throw on some uh, like sock liners for the moisture wicking capability, and then put an insulation layer of merino wool on top of that. Uh, I I've only got like one pair of sock liners, so uh, I just threw on the merino wool and uh, my, my hunting boots or my rubber boots. I've been wearing a lot of hunting boots lately um, just because they're a little more quiet and comfortable. Um, and my feet, good to go. I don't have to worry about freezing or anything like that. So, uh, so basically from there, um, once I got my base layers and I got my mid layers, if there's no wind, I'm good to go. I'm, I'm going to hunt. I'm going just like this. But when you're talking about getting down in the low 30s, uh, into the 20s, or maybe even the teens, you got to bulk up a little bit, and that's okay. The Sitka makes that easy because they've, they've got some really great outer layer stuff that I like. There's a few other companies. But I mean, uh, you know, First Light makes some other products and some, some outer layer stuff, and uh, it's great. I just don't have it yet. But what I do have is a bunch of Sitka. 
So I throw on my Fanatic vest, or my Fanatic jacket, sorry. I've got a Stratus uh, vest, but I throw on my uh, Fanatic jacket, and, uh, and then I throw on some bibs. It's got the wind stop that you need, really uh, helps hold that um, heat in that this insulation is, is providing. Um, and from there, I'm good to go. Anyway, you wanna stay warm this winter, uh, pick up some first light. It will change the way you hunt. Uh, it will absolutely change the way you hunt. You'll be more willing to get up and go out when it's cold um, and you don't kill anything if you're not in the stand. So in the future, I'm gonna be doing more techie gear stuff. I got a lot of really cool stuff that's just unique and, and a lot of guys don't think about using. So I'm gonna be doing a gear review. Maybe every couple weeks, I'll throw something together for y'all. Uh, but this week, my gear is uh, first light.